Happy Wednesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. I don't know about you, but music just makes me want to dance. Come on, dance with me this morning. I know you can. I can't wait. Teachers, snap a few pictures for me so we can get started with this day. Today is Wednesday. It's going to be a wonderful day. Let's get started with our morning announcement. Good morning, Scenic Hills, Bob, Scenic Hills Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the pro and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain. Good morning, Scenic Hills, Bob, Scenic Hills Elementary. Bobcats are parables. I think positive. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others than myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a podcast. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. Today, we are shining a light on our K through two step class. If you look very closely, you will see that this scholar is assisting us by making sure that our restroom is clean. He saw the paper towels on the floor and picked them up. Do you do that? When you see something on the floor in the building, do you pick it up and put it in the trash can? It takes all of us to keep our environment clean. So the next time you see some paper, a paper towel, a tissue, a candy wrapper, a milk carton, anything on the floor, pick it up and put it in the trash. in the spotlight over the last week we have been preparing to merge in three new classes in order to do that we have enlisted the support 
of our Bobcat Scholars. On the screen, you will see just a few of the scholars who've helped us over the last couple of days as we have been transforming spaces around the building. I know you have seen us do it and you wondered what we were doing. We are making space for a brand new kindergarten classroom, a brand new first grade classroom, and a brand new third grade classroom. And today, some of you will be able to meet our new PE teacher. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, this is just a reminder that we will have our first quarter honors program on next Friday at 9 a.m. You will get your report card this afternoon. As a matter of fact, your parents will be able to see it in their Power School portal on their phones. I hope that you have been putting your best foot forward because we can't wait to celebrate each of you. In other news, we are in the midst of a wonderful red ribbon week that Miss Brookins, our school counselor, planned for us. I hope you remember to wear your red today. We have camouflage day on Friday, and then we are going to be ready again on Friday. So we have red today, camouflage tomorrow, and red on Friday. A cap on drugs day. On the screen, you will see the compilation of pictures. If you look closely, you will see every picture that was captured on yesterday for Put a Cap on Drugs Day. We can't wait to see how many of our Bobcat scholars and staff are wearing red today. In other school-wide events and activities, scholars, this is just a reminder that we are in the middle of our first week of the Memphis Hustle Cubs Reading Club. Remember, K and one scholars are challenged to read 20 minutes daily and grades 2 through 5, 30 minutes daily. Remember, every time you read 30 minutes, you are to color your basketballs. If you are on track, you should have two basketballs colored already. In other school-wide events and activities, scholars, we are continuing to get in devices each and every day, but it's just a reminder that you will not take them home. We will charge them for you and have them ready for you to work on each day in class. We will be having a fire drill, fire drill this week. Make sure that your class is ready. And lastly, today, this day, is report card day. Scholars, you will take them home this afternoon or we will send a message out to let parents know that they can view them on the Power School app. Tomorrow we will be participating in the nationwide jumpstart read for the record. This is an opportunity for us to be in the number across the nation. We will all read the exact same book at nine o'clock in the morning, and then we will see if we can break the record for the largest number of people to read the same book at the same time on the same day. Teachers and scholars, we will have guests in the building tomorrow. Make sure that you are being respectful, responsible, and ready when our guests come in. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade K scholars in Ms. Dickens' classroom. I had the awesome opportunity to stay in their room and watch them learn for about 90 minutes on yesterday and when I tell you these scholars were writing they were reading I am so proud of each of you keep working hard and thank you for being ready to learn
Today we have one scholar to celebrate. It was on this day that Ariana Williams was born. Ariana, we are so excited to have you with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. And when you see Ariana in the hallway, in the cafeteria, even if you don't see her until it is time to go home this afternoon, be sure to give her a special Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you who are in the room with Ariana right at this moment, help me wish her a very special birthday wish by turning pointing to her and saying happy birthday TVA Energy Uplift, our best school-wide practice today goes to our grade four scholars who participated in LOL. You know what that means, lights out learning on yesterday. Have you and your teacher participated in LOL yet? Teachers, make sure that you snap a picture and send it to us because we want to save as much energy as we possibly can. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 56 minus 8. 48. Did you use our strategy of counting backwards, counting down to get this answer? quickly let's do it together let's count down let's take eight away from 56 55 54 53 52 51 50 49 48 great job 700 times zero zero Give yourself a pat on the back if you remembered our rule about zeros. I hope you did not allow Miss White to trick you because I made it a bigger number. Remember, it doesn't matter how big it is. If you're multiplying by zero, the answer will always be zero. International Holiday Spotlight. Today is International Artist Day. Did you know that uh, art is one of the most creative expressions that you can participate in? And this week, Ms. J. Williams has had guests in the art room. If you haven't been to art yet, it's going to be an exciting time for you during this week as we celebrate International Artist Day. Your challenge question for the day is, what masterpiece will you create today? Today's read aloud is called Pencils on a Strike. In honor of Artist Day, you can't be an artist if you don't have anything to write with. So I wonder why the pencils are going on strike. As you listen to today's story, I want you to think about what it must feel like to be a pencil. Can you imagine being chewed on? Can you imagine 
being placed in a pencil sharpener where you get smaller and smaller and smaller each day. Teachers and scholars, today's read aloud is 8 minutes and 50 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our Are You a Math Whiz quiz for our scholars in pre-K, K and 1. We have addition with regrouping, a review for our scholars in grades 2 and 3. For our fourth grade scholars, we are reviewing animal adaptation so that we can get ready for our next science test on Mastery Connect. And we have energy transformations for our scholars in grades in grade five. Now, scholars, we are. We've made it to Wednesday. Will you get a treat today? Maybe. I want to see how hard you're working this morning. Maybe we will treat you for being ready today. If we see you in your class working hard and being ready, maybe you'll get an extra treat this week just for being ready to learn. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.